So guys, um, right now I'm going to teach you on how to use the image to image in paint. Okay. So now that that I set up the image that we're going to use. So image to image, as of, as you know, is is the way of a uh, simple equation to edit an an existing image using AI. So. For example, you have a client or you have an image of yourself and you want to add uh, AI generated background or AI generated accessories in the image or you want to, to, to throw yourself into an anime. So, uh, that is image to image. Now the in paint is going to select a portion of your image and add a AI generated imagery. So first, we're going to set up our image for before we go to stable diffusion. If you have a, an image editor, just drag your image. I'm using Photoshop. So right now, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it, set this up into a nice landscape uh, portrait. So I don't want any uh, large side room and I'm going to add a little bit headroom so that we can add a nice uh, city background. Now for the block, now just for, um, just for being purposes I'm going to Yes, clone this. Alright, that is Shift F5 if you're using Photoshop to use the content aware to fill the block, the block with a with the same background of the image. So, uh, what we're going to do next is to uh, create a mask so that we can use in in paint. There's a mass um, section in there, so in, in order to create a mass, um, you need to first select the subject. Okay, if you are using a latest Photoshop, there's a object selection tool. So just select where your subject is, and it will automatically uh, select the sub the person or an object so once you're okay with that you can just control j or duplicate see we have removed the background then after you're done with that i'm going to press b to open the paint brush and then we're going to paint this. We're going to create a new layer and press Alt. And when you see that this icon, the keeping icon, press Alt. And when you see this on the edge of the two layers, just click. And then when you paint, it will just paint on the selected on the layer below. Okay, and then create a new layer again, put it below the subject, and then let's press this one to become black, and then just so this is the mask. So just save this one, save this as JPEG, and save this also as JPEG. Okay, now we're going to proceed to stable diffusion. Now we're in stable diffusion, make sure your the checkpoint is on the new 1.5 in painting checkpoint. Go to image to image and then go to then just go to image to image and just select the mask. I don't know. Go to image and select the image here. And here we're going to adjust the size.
just pick out what will be the appropriate one okay where is the size it, it is good on me after you're done just click in pink so after click in pink disregard the error if you have and just click upload mask and on, on top just grab the image and then the mask right now if we uh, type a prompt So as you can see, it has done what image image is supposed to done, but actually this looks this look this looks great. <laughs> nice, I'm going to save this. That looks great. Okay, so it is not what we want. So we're going to invert. We're going to impaint that mask, so if we click generate again So, uh, nothing has happened So, we're going to click this And click fill So, as you can see, it has changed the image but we're going to add a little bit more prompt than this. This is just a sample. Right? So I have prepared the a prompt that I got from Lexica. So as you can see, it generated a cyber city. Let's generate once again. Okay, so looking good. So I think I'm going to increase the set the scale. So as you can see, it it is more coherent with our um, prompt here. Now we're going to use a negative prompt. So negative prompt is the things that you don't want to see. I'm going to remove this because I actually want that one. Okay, I think I like this one. So when you like when you like this one, you can just send to extras. And then just the um, source. And then so we can upsize this. So uh, once you're happy with the background image, you can go to in paint again. 
and then it must be it must be draw mass that a total mass as we're going to add as we're going to add our own mass here by drawing so first I would just draw mass here okay First, I will draw the edges. Yeah. Then you can make the brush larger by clicking the pen icon here. And then just fill the rest of this. Okay. Then I'm going to add a pump cyborg. Let's see what what it's going to do. So here he it added a really nice cyborg um body. So you can now match again the with Okay, so what I did was I just restart my before I went to this. After you do, you done the background, to me it gets um sample depletion gets buggy. So what I did was I just copy the URL, close this one, and just paste it again here and press enter to restart everything. So if you're getting errors, okay, so. I will just keep on so so that's why my settings is here are up to default again. But right now it's doing great. Just put a part here. Okay, if you're happy with that, you can just change it to address again. And yes, generate it two times. So, um, what we're gonna do is to select again the subject. Okay, so object selection again. Okay. So we can adjust right. so just select them again just make sure to select the object once it's selected we can refine it more because that is as you can see um, some edges are not properly aligned right but I think I can work with this you can just go back here uh, long long press this with your left mouse button and use quick selection use the brackets to make to make the uh, the best larger and just go, go about it to make the selection to make okay. so if you press out it will have a minus sign okay. to remove the selection just a little bit here okay all right so, so once you're happy with this you can just control g again okay so now we have the image the subject and the 
So let's again to name this background and foreground. Then after that, we will use a curves to adjust the foreground to match the background image. So we can just click here, then curves. Then we can just press out press out like this okay and just click it so that it will it, it will just affect the foreground so I'll try to lower the to make it more or to make it lighter because the background is brighter and then go to the red right channel and since it is bluish, you can just reduce the reds. Go to green. Okay. So basically, you're, you're just going to the deep, to the RGB level. So next to blue, and just see where it fits. Okay. So here, I'm going to add more blues. Okay. So as you can see, this the is the before and this the after so as you can see the after it creates a blue stain so it matches the background okay so the next one what we're going to do is to is to add some some uh, rim light because as you can see this light here light here light and light just a bunch of lights that we need to be detected in his armor or in and in, in his head okay so first we're going to add a UN saturation we're going to flip it again you can press here to because it will just affect the power count and not the background so right now we're going to start here. Since it is the office image in this part, we're going to press polarize and up the saturation, and we're going to find the closest color. Right? Once you find this, we're just going to control click on the foreground and then click here and then shift backspace alt backspace to make a mask again here and after you then we just once you have selected the program again, be sure you you're selected here. Go to select and go to modify. Select, modify, and control. So we're just going to do. Okay. Control has done to have a certain space here. So I think we can add a little more. And then to three. So as you can see, as you can see here, the selection has adjusted, so it will create a light here, right? So what we're going to do is, once you make sure that you have selected this, the right mass, and then add back this. So as you can see, we have added some green light okay so i think it is too hot too too harsh so okay so we can add a feather Okay. 
Let's look at this up so that it will go more to the body. Okay. So I just double click the mask to rub this up. Okay. okay, so for this part, it should be this color, right? So we're just going to. Is our brush tool? Although uh, we're going to duplicate it first and check the light for the duplicated one. Click up here again to the mask and just use the the block. Make sure this block and brush. Make sure it is selected here and just remove the other. Okay. Okay. Like that. Okay. So what's your why with that this go back here and change the color to match the other color I think this is one okay now duplicate again for the other color then let's let's adjust it again Then the next one is color pink. Okay. And just again here. Okay, so you understand the workflow, what we're doing. Okay, this is the red color here. So, painting, yes. Okay. And then. Okay, so once you're happy with that, we can just control shift again out of this. Okay, to make it one again, and then duplicate the background. Okay. Select this one. Shift F five. Okay, now we're going to use this as a light up. So let me go again. So the background, after you combine all of them again, for the background, just to create the background, move it on top. Then select the subject because we're going to use the background. You select the subject. Then shift F5. Yeah, it will remove all the all the foreground. Once <coughs> that once that is good, you can uncheck this. You can call this like that. Then once that is selected again, just click here to create mask. 
and then yes make sure your your target the mask and then control i and then uh double click the mask then adjust the edge then just going to play with the edge and the feather a little bit okay I'm so happy with that. I can just make soft light. Okay. I can see it added some details here to make the image more to make the power fund more more visible okay then we're going to add a blur see it, it had some details we can add more blur if you want okay we can now want to shift the again this one to make it work. on image and then to to have it all um to make it combine together that we can do a color look up this one yes so like a color that you like So I like this one, but it's too much. We can just not make like it 39. But look at that, it makes the image more appealing, or it combines all the image on together. We can add one more curve to make it more contrast. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then control shift okay. and okay, stop us to go to make it more Add more details. Uh, yes. I think the one bus is too much.
when you can uh, brighten up the the thing okay but it um, Okay. I'm not doing that. Yes. Yes. So that is the compositing part of IOP around the view tricks in Photoshop. If you want a more detailed um more detailed tutorial, not not a time lapse of the Photoshop part, um you can slow it down if you want. Um but if you want a full tutorial on how I did this in Photoshop. Uh, just comment down below. So, thank you.